Uh, we're holding the Breastfeeding Challenge uh, 2012. It's put on by a British Columbia group. They started it for Canada Wide and now it's uh, a worldwide program. And there's sites all over the world that uh, register today to see how many babies we can get latched on. Um, there were, I think, six million babies latched on last year um, throughout the world. Most of the sites are in Canada because it's started by a Canadian group. Um, there's ones in Italy, um, places in Germany, Japan, I think might be new this year. China's good. Um, yeah, there's quite a few different places. So. Uh, this is the second year we've done it in Chetwind. Um, I started the Chetwind Breastfeeding Support Group and I had problems when I was breastfeeding and there it's hard to find a lot of help and support in smaller communities. So I was kind of looking into Prince George and it's hard to get help right away when you need if you're going somewhere else. So it's just a bunch of mums um, in our support group, peer to peer, and just giving each other advice and opinions on how they did it and what they've been through. And um, so this is the second year we've done the challenge here. Uh, last year it was just kind of a trial and see how it goes and we had one person come and one was better than nothing so this year we're trying it again and we have a couple at least already so. Well I don't have a baby that I'm breastfeeding right now but I am pregnant and I do hope to be in the breastfeeding challenge for next year. I just came to support the event. I breastfed my first child uh, for 14 months. It's the best form of food for the baby for at least the first six months. It's easy on the mum too. Once you learn the techniques and you get the baby to latch on properly, it's easy. You don't have bottles and formula and feeding and cleaning bottles, washing, all that in between. It's a lot easier on the mum and baby. It's comfort for the baby. It's skin to skin contact. It's bonding. Um, it's better nutrition, better fats. It's made by the mum for the baby. The, the sort of slogan that they're using this year is uh, eat locally, breastfeed your baby. So that's kind of a cool thing as well. It's just much simpler for everyone, but if you're having problems, you know, you don't want to just give up and go to formula, which is produced in factories and made for babies to eat when you yourself as the mom produce the best food for them. Gives them protection from colds, viruses, um, studies show that it makes them, can make them smarter. It doesn't mean that, you know, not breastfed babies aren't smart, but it's food made specifically for that child. As they grow up, the milk changes um, according to what they need, so. It's, it's a good bonding time. It frees up so much time because it's not having to mix bottles and, and things. It's very convenient that way and you get to keep your kids real close to you. I've found quite a few mums that like to come to the group and there's lots of mums that even come to the group that, that have problems breastfeeding and don't breastfeed anymore and they just come because they like knowing that that support is there and they're there for that support too. Um, so it's, I think what I've seen, I've only been here for three and a half years, coming on four years now, but um, it's, it's more comfortable now. Um, a lot of people sort of see that. Some people don't want to be associated with that. They, they'd rather just, you know, do their thing in private, not worry about it, and they support it, but they don't need it, so they don't need to come out. But um, there's a lot of moms who are really comfortable with it, and when you have that kind of surrounding, then you become more comfortable with it. It makes it easier for you to learn, for the baby to learn, and for you to pass that on to other people who are starting.